Let me say a bit more about my subtitle, Retrieving the Solas in the Spirit of Mere Protestant Christianity. Uh, usually when we think about retrieval in the context of theology, uh, we're thinking about Roman Catholic retrieval, what they call ressourcement. They retrieved patristic theology, and this is particularly in connection with Vatican II. To retrieve is to look back in order to move forward. It's a return to the past for the sake of revitalizing the present. But what I retrieve in biblical authority after Babel is not the church fathers, but the reformers, and in particular the five solas, which are essentially positive insights into the gospel. Sola Scriptura retrieves the formal principle of mere Protestant Christianity, that is, biblical authority. Uh, sola Dei Gloria retrieves what we could call the final principle of mere Protestant Christianity, which is doing everything for the glory of God. And then the three middle solas, grace, faith, and Christ alone, they retrieve what we could call the material principle of mere Protestant Christianity, that is, the focus on the gospel and the triune economy and, uh, and salvation. So in a nutshell, whereas the uh, standard narrative is to blame the reformers for today's divisions, I want to retrieve the essential reformation, this, the five solas and the insight into the nature of the gospel in order to reform Protestant Christianity. And the ultimate goal is to retrieve the principle and pattern of what I'm calling the pattern of interpretive authority, which asks the question, who has the right to say what the Bible means? And if we're to respond to the critics of Protestant biblical interpretation, we also, I think, need to retrieve another element in this pattern of interpretive authority, and it's what I call in the book the principle of the royal priesthood of all believers. And that's first cousin to Catholicity. So, here my book picks up the thread left hanging by the reformers like Martin Bucer, Thomas Cranmer, Philip Melanchthon, and Calvin himself. Philip Schaff picked up the thread in the 19th century when he declared the Reformation to be the greatest act of the Catholic Church. Well, I want to retrieve what Schaff calls Protestant Catholicism. To paraphrase G.K. Chesterton, Protestant Catholicity, what I call in the book Mere Protestant Christianity, has not been tried and found wanting. Rather, it's been found difficult and left unfinished. So Mere Protestant Christianity may well be a fresh blowing of the Holy Spirit, a retrieval of distinctly Protestant Catholic principles, a retrieval that enables the lion of biblical fidelity, sola scriptura, to lie down with the lamb of ecclesial fraternity, what we could call sola ecclesia.